back of it. Oh, thing. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Got him. Yep. Where's that coming from? Hey, they're in the corrugated irrigation pipes. They're on the ground, they're shooting up through those. See, right behind you, buddy. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't see him, no. I know he's there, though. Mad me, bro. <laughs> I think I got him. He said hit. I gotta move. Badass, bad boys. Oh, that's not safe. Oh, throw it at them. Yeah, no, I'm doing it. Grenade! Grenade! Shit, no one fell for the bar. Yeah, see, somebody, you see that, that? Where the barrel is? Uh, right side or left side? Right side of the barrel. Somebody give me a sniper. I don't see him. See him from this side. Oh, I see him. Side. He's moving up. 
There's two of them. Uh, they they're they're in cover right now. Tower two. Oh, out of BBs. I got him. Right there, you're right there. Behind the cover. Guys see him? No? Where? He's uh his head is poking out. He's it's black. It's like a black black head. I could get a better description than that. You guys see him? He's behind the barracks by Tower 2. Between Tower 1 and Tower 2. What? Um, he's hiding behind tower two and tower one, behind one of these circle things. Oh, is that tower four? Oh, I thought that was tower three. Gotta use my pistol, yes. Oh, I see him. Uh, tower 4, right? I was shooting at them with my pistol. Which one's tower 4? Huh? Which one's tower 4? Uh, I think it's... Come here. So I think it's that one right there. The far one. See that one? That one? Yep. I don't see anyone in there, man. They're, uh, they're hiding. I was shooting at them earlier. 
uh, they might have left or somebody killed them or something. Oh, I see him, I see him. You got him? You got him? Take this tower. Go, go, go. I can't. I don't have any ammo. This is my only mag. I got a sight on him right now. Today I'm going to do an update on my WEG36K. So why am I doing an update? Well, if you watched my earlier videos, you would know that I am actually keeping my guns for a lot longer than I used to. I'm going to keep my guns for pretty much till I kind of feel like it. And I'm going to tell you guys periodically how I feel about the gun. So today I'm going to tell you what I feel about this gun. So if you notice anything, you will notice that I actually changed the receiver to this nice railed receiver. Uh, the one I had before that was this, this sculpt one with a really bad paint job. As you can see, I got a second hand, that's why it has a paint job. So now I changed it to this nice clean looking railed upper and it still has that uh, paint job um, hand guard, but you know, it's not as bad as um, just having the whole thing with that paint job. So yeah, this gun is pretty cool. I really like it so far and I'm going to tell you guys what the pros and cons are so far. So some pros I can think about this gun is first of all, it's like my favorite platform. Very easy to handle. When I had the G36C, it was just one of my favorite guns. It just fits me ergonomically perfectly. It fits me like a glove. I don't know what it is about these guns, but they just work. And you know the interesting is, uh, that I'm actually from Latvia and that country is with NATO and NATO actually fought in the Afghan war with the US and they carry these guns as their primary so <laughs> it's kind of funny that it's actually my favorite platform and my soldiers from my own country actually carry these as their own guns I actually didn't know this before I had a G36C myself so anyways, um, it also is very light. I like that because, you know, it's, it is made out of polymer and it's very light, very easy to handle, especially for a rifle. And, you know, those M4s and AKs are all steel and stuff and are very heavy. But this is pretty nice on the light side, I would, I would have to say. It also does really good in the cold. Um, just, I don't know what it is about this WE because most WEs are very unreliable. But this one, it just does really good in the cold. I don't know what it is about it. Alright, a couple cons I do have is the zoom scope here that first came with the gun. It's, it's kind of a novelty. It does work and it is functional. But I just, I prefer not to use it. Um, I would just prefer using the nice red dot scope. It does work, like I said, but it just, it's more of a novelty. It doesn't really, you know, give me any real function. Um, kind of, it's kind of imprecise and just really small, very hard to look through. So, yeah, I don't really recommend having the zoom scope. Just get one with the railed top right here if you are going to get this gun. And um, also the second con, I would say it's a little long for my taste, I would say. Um, I kind of like the more compact gu guns. I would say for me, if I would uh, purchase a brand new gun right now, between a G36K and a G36C, I would pick the G36C just because the handguard is a little smaller. But I do like how this gun looks it just looks like this really badass like battle rifle so yeah ergonomics aside i just like how it looks so all right thank you guys so much for watching hey guys what's going on welcome to airsoft warfare hd let's go, let's go. this gun's very reliable and i definitely
recommend.